Hello my friends, my name is Jerry, you have tuned in to MTB Suomi and this is yet another episode of our Trip Tip series. Welcome to Kite in Central Karelia. So yes, this time I made it to Central Karelia and we're gonna visit a couple of local towns, Kite and Tohmajärvi. But it's so early man. I really can't see anything right now, so why don't you take a walk around the town and I'm gonna take a nap and meet you in the cafe. Night night. Kite is with its 10,000 inhabitants, the largest town in the region of Central Karelia, and this town located next to the lake Kite and Järvi is well known mainly for two things. So-called Moonshine City of Finland is famous for production of the Moonshine Vodka, which although illegal by definition, is still available commercially and you can buy the Kiten Kirkas in stores. Kite is also a birthplace of Tarja Turunen, the lead singer of the heavy metal band Nightwish, which started their journey here. We are standing in front of the Nightwish Story Center, which is a unique exhibition that uh, introduces the local band's path as a internationally well-known heavy metal band. The exhibition includes lots of materials about the history of the band, but there's also uh, interesting new materials about the nowadays products. Apart from that, Kite is very famous for its Pesa Pablo team, Kipa 90, which has already won three titles, the most recent in 2005. Winter maniacs will appreciate few ski jumps, while summer is dominated by water activities. Water and waterways have always been important to Central Karelia and uh, for example Kesalahti and Tuhos area uh, they have been important trade route in the past and nowadays the water is also important and it's used a lot in also our tourism services like we have uh, lots of canoeing products supporting also the different kind of sailing sailing products and uh, there are three time sailors Rakla and uh, in the area especially. Thank you Larry for introducing us to this beautiful area and now let's grab a coffee before we jump on the bike. I've decided to apply some sugar doping from Kite and Kotilait Pomo and that kept my eyes open for a good few hours so I can only recommend this place. Staff is super friendly and the selection of pastries is huge. Not only you can get some sweets with your morning coffee, you can also buy some baguettes or other snacks for later in the day. So here in Kitae we're gonna start with the red trail called Hutsi Trail, which starts here at the sports hall and the swimming hall. There are a couple of stadiums below this hall. Uh, there is this frisbee golf course as well. So as you can imagine, a lot more to do here in Kitae than just mountain biking. Uh, you also have a cafe and toilets inside the hall. So basically anything you need to get ready for the day on the bike. Uh, there is also this beautiful trail map to navigate yourself around get some basic info about the trails but for now I already know where to start it starts here and goes there so let's do it Wutsi trail is color marked as the red and should be therefore the most difficult one to ride in Kite however don't get too carried away with the color coding in central Karelia as it doesn't really relate to the trails as a whole and as we mountain bikers are used to. The Hutsi trail is in my opinion more blue or even green in many places, while for example the blue Talve trail is mostly red. But anyway. This 7 km long trail takes you to the southern part of the town and although there is not as much single track as I would wish, the elevation changes will make your heart beat a lot faster nevertheless. The trail is perfectly marked with red dots on trees and you definitely shouldn't get lost here. Yeah. 
You will also find many of those information boards along the way on all the Karelian Pole trails here in Central Karelia. So you can decide for yourself if you just follow the official mountain biking trails or you make a detour and go for the natural trails, the Luontopolku. I'm gonna continue on this Hutsi trail though. <laughs> All these marked trails around Central Karelia are managed by Karelian Pult organization and you can find more information about these trails including maps and guides on visitskarelia.fi but also on our website where you can additionally download a GPX file to use in your GPS device or phone for navigation. this Hootsie Trail which ends at the same place as it starts at the sport center let's move to the blue trail called Peltola or actually you know what I'm hungry again so let's grab a lunch somewhere in town <laughs> yeah 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 I can already hear your comments so keep your mouth shut pizza is healthy anyway it's just cheese and vegetables come on Peltola is 8 km long blue trail with similar elevation character like the Hutsi trail. You will notice on the map that Peltola trail is split into 3 parts, where the 5 km in the middle are maintained also in winter. Therefore the name Talve trail for these 5 km of the trail. And personally, I liked the Talvi trail the most of all the trails in Kite. It's technically most difficult and it has the highest amount of single track opposed to all the wide fitness tracks on Hutsi and Peltola trails. Boring. Considering the character of the Peltola trail and generally all trails in Kite, I find it very suitable for families with young bikers who are up for some challenge in form of occasional single track with minor obstacles. It's also well suitable for beginners who want to build up their confidence on the bike. But given how remote and peaceful this part of Karelia is, I found it especially great for a laid-back carefree trip with one goal. To clear your head, forget all the troubles and just enjoy some relaxed time on your bike in the Finnish Lakeland. Okay, maybe forget that you're 20 kilometers from the Russian border, that might cause some worries in your head. <laughs> And since you are in Karelia or in Finnish Karjala, don't forget to try the famous local drinks and meals like the local Karjala beer and the Karjalan piraka. Mm. It's time to get some sleep now. We have a really big day of riding ahead of us tomorrow, so I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, uh, welcome to Central Karelia and uh, as a hint, if you like water and peaches, the best peaches 
you can find from the Kesalahti area, which is in the southern part of uh, Kite.